and things that they're going to like. Yeah. If you have a suggested cell, uh, for instance, Moscow's is famous for their Bellinis, <clears throat> and it's probably the best Bellini out there right now. You know, original. The original, yeah, the original. Then suggestively sell that to the customer. You know, we have a we have a drink we have called the sugar, obviously, but it only comes as a double. So double sugar, and it's easy to make. There's a little bit of flair involved, and it's the only place in the city you can get it, quite literally. Yeah. Um, you know, you're not going to go to another nightclub or the Roxy and ask for a uh, double purple onion, yeah. whatever. You know, well, every only great company is famous for something. for something. And if you can <laughs> back up a product, well, that's your favorite product. Yep. Yeah. And you make it the best. Anybody else? Why exactly. would you want to sell it? Exactly. Yeah. Present it. And, and and take that one step further. Invent a shooter that you, as a bartender, only know the recipe for. Hmm. You know, and maybe that customer will keep coming back to you. That's not a bad idea. Get onto this. What I really believe is having specials. You know, having a couple specials, especially a cocktail and a shooter special. What I love, um, some sort of a sign. Like, I don't know if you can, you can get a shot of this. Um, you know, specials of the day and on a chalkboard. Well, you know, in a busy bar. Right? I want people to have made up their mind before they come up to me. Right? Now, yes, if they don't know, I will guide them through things. And because I, hopefully I, I will think and anticipate, it will go quicker and that will go well. However, there's things that you can do to make up their mind.